In the Options tab is where we select protocols for the whole brain training plan. We start at the left with Start Protocol Selection. Then select 4-channel or 2-channel training. If you have a 4-channel amplifier, select 4-channel. If you plan to use a cap for training, leave the default. If you plan to use electrodes for training, select Default EEG Sites. I'll select the cap. And here we have Suggested Protocols. Based on the summary report, we'll make a couple changes. Clicking on a number will deselect the protocol and highlight the whole row. The Tab key is what you use. Hit the Tab key, which will move you to the next cell. The cell that appears white is the active cell. Once the cell is highlighted, we can begin typing and write over what is there already. We'll change the active sites to P3 and P4. Hit Tab. And we can change references now. I want to leave them as they are, so I hit Tab again to move on to the protocol. If we begin typing, we'll write over what is already there. We can write anything we want. I want to use the same design and just make changes to the inhibit, so I'll type in the bar up at the top. When I hit Tab again, the next cell is active. I'll type EC for eyes closed to overwrite what's already there. Now when I click the number area again, it selects the protocol as number one. Let's look at block five. Click one to deselect and highlight the whole row. Hit the tab key to highlight the cell you want to edit. In this case, we'll use O1 and P4. Hit Tab, and we'll use the same references, so hit Tab again. Now, instead of a full squash, we'll use a different protocol, so I'll begin typing to overwrite the protocol that's already there. Once we've typed what we want to, click the number area to renumber it. If you want to change the order of any of these protocols, click the number to deselect them, and then click again to select them in the order that you want. Once you've finished your selections, you're ready to complete auto plan.